Hello YouTube, this is um, Ricky British and today I'll be installing my STS and my Yamaha R1. It's, um, I just get this product today, so I'm going to open the package and show you guys the contents of the package. Here is the STS system with the connectors. You have um, much six, eight wires on the STS system itself. The user's manual, two zip tie, some other connectors, some um, tapping kit, and some rubber. So I'm going to try and find the correct wires. Um, in the manual, there are color codes. There are color codes. And it says Honda, Yamaha, Kawasaki, Suzuki, Vespa, and Triumph. So you, you, you know which color code fits your bike. Uh, you can go on the internet and download the manual off the internet as well. So I'm going to try and find the respective arm color. So on the manual, go on this side. <clears throat> so because my bike is a Yamaha R1 2004, um, my indicator, my indicator only is here. So I trace the wire from the indicator and it take me to here, because I took here. So this is, the this is the cable for the indicator. So you just pull the cable, so there are 10 wires in the cable. And by the manual, it says here, for um, Yamaha, so you look the yellow, the yellow wire from the, from the STS would connect to the dark green wire. So you're gonna look on your cables and try to find the dark green wire, which is, the dark green wire is this wire. So from the top, you can see this is the dark green wire. And then the next wire is the blue wire, gonna connect, be connected to the brown white wire. The brown white wire is this one on top as well with the dark green wire. Dark green wire on the, on the far right, the brown white wire is here. And the next wire you need to find is gonna be a chocolate wire. So my, on Yamaha, my chocolate would be this one. Cause it's like me, I'm chocolate. So, <laughs> so my chocolate is this one. So um, I just tested the wire. And um, normally you should cut these wires here cut them and connect the connectors to it. But because um, I don't like cutting, so I bought some connectors and I wire them in. So I just plug in like this, plug in this side and plug in on this side. So it's plugged in, so it's the, wire, the circuit is complete. So I'm just, I'm gonna show you, when I turn my indicator on, very fun. My indicator is still working. So I'm gonna disconnect one of the wire. Um, the left side. Oh, it's a signal wire. The left side, so it stopped work. So my indicator connect with the wire, the indicator is working. So I know which wires, which wire I'm gonna use. Now you need to find um, you need to find 12 volt positive and I grounds. When I check with my probe probe inside the wires, here's a second connector. There are, there's a red wire, there's two black wires, yellow and blue wire, blue wire with brown and a red with brown. So I need a 12 volt wire that when I turn the key on, I should get like, I should get 12 volt, I should get um, current. So there are, I'm gonna probe into this red wire first. So I'm probing the wire. There's no um, there's no light. So when I when I when I turn the key, there should be some light. There should be some light inside. So that's now I know that's a 12 um, the 12 volt wire which I'm gonna use the live one. 
and I'm gonna use the black, I'm gonna use one of the black one as the ground. So I think there's two, two black wires, so I think both of them the grounds anyway. So let's get started. package we have six connected bullet six bullet connectors you have the male everybody know the male and everybody know the female the male stick inside the female so on the bike when you cut the wires when you cut the wire here you put the female side which is this one and this end going towards the bike and the male side the male going towards the front of the bike which is going to the switch here so I'm going to connect my, the, this, this, this thing I made, I'm going to connect the female, I'm going to connect the female, this side, going towards the bike, going towards the bike, and the male going to be on this side, going towards the switch. So it's, it's just like me cutting the wires, but because I'm using, like I made this, adapter or whatever you want to call it for the middle so I'm just going to plug one hand here and plug the other in here and complete the circuit so I'm going to get my wire um, crimp a wire, a wire cutter and make, uh, make a cut here clear the wire now I've connected the bullet connectors to the to the wire so I'm going to show you guys so it's like It's like, say that I cut the wire. If I cut the wire, then this is how it would look, just like this. So the French manual, manual. So I'm gonna connect my STS reference manual. I have a Yamaha, a Yamaha says here, Yamaha. So it says I should connect the dark grip the yellow wire to the dark green wire. So first I'm connecting the yellow wire to the dark green wire. So that's this one. Then I'm gonna connect the blue wire to the brown white wire, which is a signal wire. So the blue wire And the last wire is the green one. So only one male con one female connector left. So which is the chocolate or the dark brown wire. So here I have my the grounds. Here's my grounds. And here is my 12 volt positive. So it's now connected as manual. They said you should um, leave these ones for now. Turn the ignition on and you should see some light flash. So I'm gonna see if the light flash on mine. So I'm gonna turn the key, turn the ignition on. There should be some indicator light flash, I don't know, to synchronize. So I'm gonna make sure the STS is set like say flutter or something. So I'm gonna turn the keys on. So you have indicator just flash just now. So I'm gonna go ahead and connect the rest of wires. There are three wires left to be connected. You have the, um, the brown wire, the white wire, and the purple wire. So the white wire is going to be connected to the dark green and the switch side. So the dark green is this one. And the brown wire is going to be connected to the brown white, which is the signal wire. And the last one, 
which is a purple going to connect to the dark brown or chocolate. The reason why mine is like this because I didn't cut my wires. Normally you should cut your wires like the green one, the dark brown or chocolate color and the brown white one. Cut them and connect the connectors but I, I do not like cutting so I buy two plugs, male and female and I plug and I make like a little adapter here. So that's where I adapt it inside so I don't need to cut it. So all I do, do is I'm going to tuck this back inside. I'm going to tidy up these wires and tuck them inside. Let me tape this back. So the next step is to remove your indicator handle grip. The indicator switch is uh, two Phillips head screws because you need to put the plastic uh, the plastic in between the button. You need to open, gently open that. Gear indicator. So I need to put the rubber inside the switch. So here's the switch. Oh, sorry, this is where you need to put a sponge here at the back, right inside here. So you need to put a sponge one right and the other one on the left. The other one on the left, so they fit just inside. So I'm gonna see if it locks up. So it's here. So you guys can see here, that's the two holes. Here you need to put the sponge up. I've put my sponge inside. Supply sponge, so I'm gonna check to see if it lock. So I'm gonna turn my indicator, turn my turn ignition on. And see. So I think the sponge, the sponge they are too big. So I need to take them out and cut them down a bit smaller because the indicator is not working. I think the hardest part of doing of installing this indicator is cutting these rubbers so they fit perfectly. You don't want to be pushing the indicator too hard to turn the indicator on. One tap and it should come on. Press it the same direction, it should turn off. Other side, one direction, turn off. So, um, yeah, you just want to cut them perfect, not perfect, but enough for this not to lock. So, now I've done that. So, there is my, and here's my STS. I think I'm going to just. Um, attach it right here underneath right just underneath the center piece for the handle bar so i'm going to get my my, tie, my ties cable ties and i'm going to tie wrap it right here i'm going to tie wrap it right there just in underneath this um thing here i'm going to put some double side tape here first on the sts So I'm going to try and get it, it says uh, horizontal as possible, STS sign up facing direction of travel. So that should be, that should be straight enough. 
because it's in the middle of the bike so as you guys can see i just put my sts here i'm gonna cable tight i use some double side tape first so now i'm gonna use a cable tight supply with the sts to cable tight then i'm gonna take care then i'm gonna take care of these wires so my sts is connected there is here um, i'm gonna use some cable i use one cable tie to secure it and i use some double side tape some m3 m3 tape to secure it first and then i use one cable tie so now i'm gonna put the in the um the, the indicator switch back on and then tighten it up and then i'm gonna secure these cables so yes just install my STS system and um, I think it's, work, it's working all right to be honest it's a cool system look you see indicator is blinking now so as soon as I make the, cut, I make the turn the indicator gonna come cancel by itself so if I, as you guys, guys can see I don't know indicator is still blinking But when you make the turn, the indicator should cancel itself. Um, if you want to cancel the indicator by yourself, all you have to do is press it in the, in the, same, um, the same direction where, you, where it's blinking to cancel it. So if you want to turn left, if you, if you put it on to turn left and you change your mind, all you have to do is press it left, press, it, press the indicator um, direction and to the left again, and um, it will cancel. So it's blinking, I'm at, I'm at the traffic light waiting for it to turn green, indicator on. So, as soon as I turn left and I straighten up the indicator should, it cancel by itself already, it's cancelled. So I put, so it's still cancelling, still blinking. So now, you see how that turns as I straighten up the indicator cancel by itself. So it's very cool, it's working fine, I think you know you just need to get used to it and their functions and everything, you know. So it's just it's just about getting used to the indicator, the STS and the function ability and the weird function and stuff like that because they always tend to cancel it yourself but when you get used to it you realize it's been cancelled by itself station on my bike here I've installed this I've installed this. It's a um, voltage meter. Press the button, turn it off, press again. It's on. Now it's on. So you can see it's of 12.6 volt battery. Press 74%, 77% charge. And um, yeah, 12.4 here. This is for my LED on my bike. I used to have a remote system, but sometimes it turned on by itself. So now this is connected to a key start, key on system. And I've installed my STS system. So I'm gonna show you guys how the STS system work. So let's go. The STS system is a cool system, but you have to get used to it. If you wanna, so for instance, you're going somewhere, you turn the left indicator on, and um, you change your mind, you don't wanna turn left anymore. All you need to do to cancel it is press indicator to the left again, and it should it will cancel the the, the indicator. If you press 
in the button like like um like before it won't cancel the indicator you have to press the indicator to the left twice to to cancel the sts system so if i turn the keys now turn the key on turn the keys and i press this button see it's illuminated so the light is on don't mean the led or the side if you can see here green and some underneath the bottom of the bike is on so I think if you ride a bike like I'm I'm on a car park so I'm gonna turn my indicator and ride and see if it, how long it's gonna take to get the to cancel itself without turning. So I'm turning the key to the right and I'm gonna ride in straight line. Normally it should take about 20 seconds if you ride in a straight line without turning to cancel itself. See it cancel by itself, so now I'm turning left. I'm gonna turn left. As soon as I turn left and straighten up, the indicator turn off by itself. So it's a very cool system, you know. It's just getting used to it. 